Today, I'm gonna invite you to the dark side of Kamona. You're gonna hear the sound you never wanna hear, and you're gonna see the screen you never wanna see. I'm going to share how I died multiple times. I'm gonna reveal my mistakes, I'm gonna reveal my skill issues, and hopefully, you're gonna learn from them. <laughs> Northridge, early game, full 2x scope. What a nice gun, by the way. We are being attacked from behind, so I put myself into position and wait for the right moment. My teammate dies. Painkiller popped. Okay, I'm ready. This is by the book. This is by the book. But not what I done after that. Look at that. I'm throwing a nade because there was one more teammate. I'm throwing another nade, which is perfectly fine. But then, at this point, at this point, I freeze. I reload and I freeze. What am I waiting for? What for what? For this? To die? So the right thing would have been that after I throw my nades, I at least try to peek or something. Like instead I gave him a free kill. Like come on. This is so stupid. This is farm and I was about to enter from the broken fence side and classic mistake. You're gonna see it's a classic mistake. I know somebody is inside. I could even see him. Did you see that? We could even see the enemy. I'm nading. I'm nading to distract them so I can run in. Which is cool. But look at that. What do I do? I peek. Why do I peek? Why do I peek? Like, don't do this. I mean, it was so obvious that I was hiding behind that box. Nade was fine, running in was fine, but don't peek like this. Farm, BM59, sneaky gameplay, multiple targets in the motel. And this is similar to the first clip, but no, it's actually even worse. First mistake. If you don't have a clear target, don't start shooting. I should have dropped that guy. And then look at that, I don't move. I just stay there. Like, what the hell I'm thinking? And of course, I get naded. And this is kind of like, you know, that panic attack. You, you, you freeze and you start healing and, and, you know, nothing really happens. And why do I crouch creep walk? I mean, they know that I'm here. I missed the shots. I ate the nade. And then I'm just sitting here waiting to get shot. And I even see the guy. But I have a BM-59. He had some AK something. So again, I absolutely deserve to die. But, like, this is so frustrating to watch how stupid things I do in the game. Like really. In this game, you're going to see something that is a different type of issue. It's more about being overconfident. So I was rushing the spawn near to me. I had an MPX with Dum Dum. And since I shot that guy, I was thinking that, okay, I shot him, he's running. I'm going to nade, I'm going to chase, and then I'm going to nade again. Yeah. By default, this is actually fine. Like nading the shit out of your enemy. But look at that. I had absolutely no clue where my enemy is. I, I, he was on the screen for a second. I didn't see him. I was just cluelessly shooting at something. So absolute bullshit gameplay from me. Absolute bullshit. It's terrible. It's terrible. In this game, I was killing two Timmies and I picked up a pretty nice M4. And you see that guy running from motel to the extract? My aim wasn't good, either terrible. I hit him, he didn't die. It's, it's fine. I'm still having the control, right? Then I got somewhat unsure if that target is actually behind that pillar. Like, like why? I, I saw this guy running behind that pillar. And because of that, I couldn't, you know, finish the kill. I couldn't trace. 
and therefore I thought that I'm just gonna run and innate him because you know what do enemies do just sit there right and waiting for the nade no it's not what enemies do they start getting into a position where they like have an angle on you and they just waiting for you to run and that's kind of what I did actually the nade wasn't a bad idea I should have been more cautious on how I throw the nade and then find myself a good angle, a good spot where I can see the extraction. That's it, that easy. Here's another one where my nade put me into trouble. So it's third floor. And first, after hearing that they're coming, I thought this is a good place to be at. Then I was repositioning, all right, to have a better angle. And instead of waiting here, I, I, I went over to the other room and then I wanted the nade. Terrible gameplay, terrible gameplay. I should have moved back where we have the stairs, for example, and then just hold the angle. That's it. That easy. I'm, I'm this stupid sometimes. This stupid. And I'm giving away all my freaking stuff to these guys. Oh, I remember this game. I remember this. Next to the fence, I couldn't shoot him. This is farm graveyard. And I knew that he's there. Like you see the sound prints. And because of what I see in the videos, I thought it's a good idea to throw a nade. But while I'm throwing the nade, like, what the hell? Why is he peeking? When I, when I throw the nade, like I should have moved to a better position, throw the nade or again just hold the angle or maybe unpin my nade and then switching back to my gun but this is this is a joke guys why do i keep dying because of this bullshit stuff in my head this one is very lovely guys early game north ridge one minute into the game i saw some action happening on sawmill and then i just die then i just die what's the mistake guess the mistake What's the mistake? So obviously, if there are people in Somia, then there might be teammates or somebody being around. And I was absolutely not looking to the left. I was not checking the surroundings. I was not checking the rocks. And look at that. Wait, what are you doing there? You are just giving away your stuff again for free. And this is annoying because every time I make good money, then I have three or four games where this happens. So I learned from the previous game, so I was the one standing on that rock. And look at that, I, I, I got a kill, I got an easy kill. And then there was this clueless guy running. My aim was again, like, you know, below quality. It's terribly bad, but what did I do? Hmm? I started looting him, why? Why did I start looting this guy? That's, that's the big question. Why did I think that this guy is just randomly like running around on the map? So I got what I deserved. I got shot and I was trying to like desperately escape, but I couldn't. Looking at the kill cam, it's actually so funny to see me trying to go sidewards. I wanted to go backwards because I had no clue where the enemy is. And that's the learning. If you have a kill, secure the area. Even if it takes you five minutes, then stay there for five minutes. And even in some cases, even that five minutes is freaking not enough because there are campers in the game who are willing to stay there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes and they are just waiting for you to show up. This, this, is, this is arena breakout. We have these players, so you need to be prepared always secure the area at least smoke the body okay all right you're gonna love this it's north ridge third floor enemy incoming from projection side what a nice headshot this was actually a nice headshot and this was a t5 guy full juicy stuff and i knew that there were multiple enemies like this guy had teammates so i was throwing nades just to keep the distance until I loot this guy because I was expecting like some juicy stuff to come towards me. 
but I spent way too much time looting and then I stayed on the third floor. That's the mistake. I should have grabbed the stuff and then, you know, go towards the reception maybe. No, I didn't do that. I was running back to the safe room, which wasn't safe at all because they were just rushing me. I could have killed this guy if I'm a tiny bit better, but even then, this guy had additional teammates who would have rushed me anyways. So the only good decision I could have made is to grab the stuff and run away. That's the downside of playing solo. If you don't have T6 chats next to you, then sometimes you need to run. And actually I have a bonus clip for you showing exactly that. I was being attacked by a team coming from the front entrance of the motel and I had a BM-59. I was alone versus a squad. So what I've been doing, I started nading, you know, just to scare them and then smoke the area and then pray. And it wasn't just praying because I knew that they don't see me. So I could escape through the basement, I could get outside and I extracted with 230,000 by using the no backpack extract. It's still better than nothing, it's still better than nothing because at least I didn't die. It was actually painful watching these recordings, but don't let this discourage you. Even legends make deadly mistakes, so do I. But I hope by showing these situations, I could show you something from what you can learn. And then, you know, maybe you're not gonna do the same stupid shady mistake. Shoot, loot, subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Peace out.